today I wanted to tell you about a pattern I've sewn seven times in seven different ways. It's the Cheyenne tunic. Okay, so even though it's called the Cheyenne tunic, it really has two looks. It has a tunic and then it has a button up. And actually I've done it eight times. I did a tunic, but today I just wanna tell you about the shirts. And the first shirt I did was about four years ago. And it was probably the first button up shirt I ever sewed. And I'll go ahead and put up like a nicer picture right here, but just so that I can uh, remember it and sort of talk through it. I wanted to show you kind of closer that fabric. This is like a seersucker fabric and I just sewed it without any changes. I didn't lengthen it or do anything to it. Uh, and I'd say this one has held up and stood the test of time. Four years, it doesn't have anything falling loose on it. And maybe that's just because it's seersucker and seersucker just kind of lasts forever. I tried to do um, like a rose or a little flower, a little pink flower on the buttons when I first did it. And so that's the only button left that has that. And the rest of them are just kind of like little bits of thread left. Um, for some reason, I just haven't fixed it. I just get going sewing the next thing and you know, it doesn't get fixed, but I still wear it. And so the next one is uh, a blue, um, what do you call that chambray and i had a lot of trouble with this one i don't know what happened i actually do have um, some pattern notes that i'm going to put up on my blog i'll put up a review of the pattern because it's a great pattern but you have to be aware that the uh, seam allowance changes like it'll be three eighths on the neckline and then it'll be um, five eighths on the inside seams because they're um, it's designed so that you can sew it um, with a French seam, which most of the time I did not. Um, now I, I would always do a French seam because I find that they just come apart so much faster when you don't do a French seam. I had some trouble with this and I don't quite remember what it was, but it, it, probably it was just that I kept mismatching the sizing on the collar with the shirt. I did it like almost every time I sewed it. I don't know what wrong. It's not the fault of the pattern, I promise. Um, but so for this one, I stitched a little decorative stitch right there to kind of cover up the fact uh, that I kind of had to piece this little part together. But that's a really useful piece to have, a chambray shirt. And I have a couple chambray shirts in this same pattern. Here's my other one. Um, now this one, I have great pictures for this one. I went for a walk that day with my family and my husband took the photos and it turned out great. I was pretty shocked. And this one is in also in a chambray. It's more of like a heathered look to it. And it's my very favorite. It looks so professional. This one, I did the sleeves the proper way got that little button there. I love those little pleats that the, that it has. Um, I mean, and this is a this is a straight on official shirt. I mean, it's got the collar stand and the collar. And it is starting to come apart like at the very bottom. I don't know what causes this because I was so careful with it when I was sewing it. But if you'll see right there, it's doing that on both sides which kind of drives me nuts. I don't even know how to fix that. If you know, please let me know down in the comments. Then this one is from last summer. I'll go ahead and put up a picture right there. This is rayon. And for this one, uh, because I really just didn't feel like struggling with the cuff in this very fine fabric. Um, let me kind of give you a little look there so soft so lightweight this is perfect for summer um, and I usually wear it tucked in uh, but yeah I would do it again um, in rayon I would do it and then early this fall I did this uh, plaid shirt and just so you can see the fabric up a little closer 
I did the inside with this little contrasting piece because what happened was instead of interfacing the pieces, I wanted to see what it would be like if I just used fabric as an interfacing. So my interfacing was just some of this blue and I think it worked out pretty well. It gives it a real soft feel that I'm really enjoying. And then here's those cuffs that I just love so much. So this one, I added about two inches to the bottom so that I can wear it, um, you know, with some slimmer cut jeans and um, just feel totally cozy in at home or wherever I want to go. And here's the latest one. This is in a cotton. I don't remember where I got it, but I don't think this was meant to be a cotton for a shirt. I think that it was meant for like home goods. It, it's just very stiff and I'm just hoping it'll kind of like wash up softer the more I wear it. Um, but I think it turned out pretty nice. And so that's a nice little fall color. And so there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't show you this one. See, good thing I counted them. Now, of course, you got to have your classic white shirt. And I'm still searching for the perfect fabric for a nice, beautiful, crisp white shirt. I just don't think I've found it yet. I'm going to keep looking. And I have a Nomi pattern that I just bought that has a pair of jeans that I'm working on. And it comes with a button up shirt. And I plan to try that one with a nice white um, fabric. I'm thinking I, I always buy my fabric online. I'm thinking I need to go into the store and actually feel and touch the fabric to try to get the right, just right um, white cotton. But this one turned out very nice. Now I don't have any length added on this um, and I just put a plain cuff on the end. And so that kind of has a nice, like a totally different look to it. I'll show you right here. Now, just um, full disclosure here, I really messed up on this one. Um, you can see I have the, did, have you ever done this? This is what happens when you sew the, the sew on interfacing, you know, the iron on interfacing, and then you wash it a lot. That's what you get. <laughs> I sewed it backwards and I wasn't gonna fix it. So, you know what? Nobody can see that except for you. Now you've seen it. <laughs> So that's what I had to share with you today. Thank you for watching.